How to install your green beacon system. Firstly, secure the control box to the machine in a position where it is near the clasp side of the seat. Next, secure the seat belt buckle to the machine's seat. Then, the clasp the side of the seat belt, ensuring the cable can reach the control box. Plug the cable into the relevant socket, referring to the sticker. If needed, the extension cable can be used so the control box is situated further away from the seat. Secure the beacon using the mounting spigot provided. Remember, machine rocks must not be drilled. If this does not or cannot be made to fit your machine, do not hesitate to contact HTS for alternative mounting options. Connect the spigot tail to the DIN mount, making sure the red cable goes into the centre spade and the black cable goes into the outer spade. Connect the beacon cable to the tail on the underside of the spigot mount. Notice there are two different ends to the beacon cable, male and female. Plug the correct end into the spigot cable and the other end into the relevant socket on the control box. The vehicle immobilisation circuit cable can be cut or wired to the machine's control circuit. If the cable is cut, make sure it is safe to ensure it does not short circuit the system. Wire the power cable into the circuit of the machine. Then plug the power cable slip end into the power input of the control box. Also, there is an option to fit a cab warning module, which can be both a visual and auditory warning. And feel free to contact HTS Spares for more information about the additional options. Lastly, mount the green beacon and tighten using the wing nut. Test the system by fastening the seat belt and the beacon should flash, and plug the seat belt and the flashing should stop.